the law of polarity. In this physical realm that we currently inhabit, there is duality in everything. We have up and down, love and hate, courage and fear, harmony and conflict. The law of polarity teaches us that everything has two aspects. Even forces which seem to be in opposition are in actuality identical, only differing in degree. There are no absolutes. Less conflict is more harmony. Less harmony is more conflict. The existential question then for us all must be, why do so many of us choose to overfocus our minds on the end of the polarity with the lowest vibrational frequency? The exact frequency that draws into our lives when our conscious minds say we don't want. Now I spent many years of my life expecting the worst to happen, believing people would betray me, living in perpetual fear and crippling self-doubt. I would only see problems in my life and never solutions. This seemed as normal to me as the sun rising. As a matter of fact, I would get extremely annoyed with people who were choosing to be positive and people who would see the glass not half full but completely full. I thought they were delusional and living in a fantasy world. Through my spiritual recovery program, I began to analyze the socialization I received into negative bias. From a young age, I, like most of you, was inundated with messages of fear, worry, anger, doubt, anxiety, and lack. These messages came from TV, magazines, adults in my life, church, and school. These negative messages became my groundwater. Given that I was polarized at such an impressionable age towards the lower frequency end of what was possible, it was no wonder that I held such a disempowered view of myself, life, and others. Given that we have all received and internalized these type of messages, it helps contextualize why our world is currently drowning in oppression, suffering, and human disconnection. We have chosen and still choose a polarization that doesn't serve our highest good. As I desperately wanted healing from this socialization and the pain that I was feeling, I saw guidance from my spiritual teacher, Brother Mahdi. He taught me that the best way to shift my vibration immediately and consequently to shift my polarity was to take responsibility from my perspective. I had to shed the old disempowering perspective to shed the results it was producing. Essentially, Mahdi helped me to understand that what I see is what I will get. If my perspective was one of worry, then I will get anxiety producing situations everywhere in my life. If my perspective was one of conflict, then of course I will get conflict throughout my life. Now this may sound simple to some of you hearing this, but it was truly mind blowing to know that my life could be different when I made a choice to change my perspective. With all of the passion in my heart, I jumped into the job of taking back possession of my perspective. I would no longer choose to be a victim. I would now choose empowerment over disempowerment and happiness over depression. I began to transform my polarization. Today, I am becoming hardwired to see only solutions where I saw problems in the past. I now see love in every moment where before I saw fear. And I now see peace and serenity where I once saw doubt and worry. So let us remember that for every challenge, there will always be an equal amount of opportunity. And whatever appears to be bad, there will always be an equal amount of good. This is law. It is critically important to maintain our sense of inner balance and not be driven by the emotionality of any given moment so we may see with clarity and gratitude for what is truly present. Given that the law of polarity is mutable, you too can begin to transmute all the feelings you're having from the low frequency end of the polarity to the highest vibrational possibility. 
Beloved, your power is in your choice and your perspective. What you see is what you get. Own your power in the light and love. I wish you peace.